I like to make sure that I have my lashes done so I don't look like a hard boiled egg. So now I look like a hard boiled egg with lashes stuck onto it and the eyes, mouth and nose drawn on it with a Sharpie. You know what I mean? So yeah. The company reached out to me and they're asking me if I could leave them a five star review for $10. What the f***? Do I look like a cracker? Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm kind of holding you guys far because I literally just slapped this wig onto my head. Now that I put it on and I'm holding you guys up in front of it, I think it's not the worst thing in the world. It is a... <laughs> Mia's looking at me and smiling. It is a glueless wig that I did buy from uh, TikTok shops. But um, it just has not been my favorite, but I guess it's okay right now. I took my hair down today and I washed it with my braids in it and everything. But tonight I didn't feel like putting the U part back on. I said that I would have just worn a scrub cap and I still might but <clears throat> I wanted to try this out to see what it's looking like. I went in and I did my lashes. Let me take a moment for the skin. Yeah, I went in and I did my lashes so they're looking cute because, you know, obviously... Oh, the year's ended and, you know, it's new year, new me, not really, let's be real. Same me, same me. But, you know, I do like to look put together. So if it's not my hair, nine times out of ten, I like to make sure that my hair does look put together. I like to make sure that I have my lashes done so I don't look like a hard boiled egg. So now I look like a hard boiled egg with lashes stuck onto it and the eyes, mouth, and nose drawn on it with a Sharpie. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to be wearing my Lotus scrub cap tonight. Let me show you guys. Ah, uh, you will probably already seen me in the scrub cap because I always wear the same one. I think it is my favorite out of all of the other ones I have. And honestly, I could still put it over. I could still put it over this, this wig and wear the wig. But I don't really think I'm in the mood to do all of that, but... You know i really could wear it the one thing that i don't like about this wig is that it is so thin and you know what's funny the company reached out to me and they're asking me if i could leave them a five star review for ten dollars what the f do i look like a cracker excuse me yeah go to hell i don't know that i would have changed my review even if they were paying me a hundred dollars but this is me just saying that right now because let's be FFR. I'm a human being and if they were trying to reimburse me for the full price, I don't know, the wig is really thin and I wouldn't mislead people because it is really thin. And it is 24 inches, like there's no body to it. It looked like I bent some hair and put it, girl, no, no, mm-mm, mm-mm, you know, keep okay, on. Hi everyone, tonight is night five of my seven night stretch that I'm working and I feel really good tonight. I don't feel super exhausted or anything, knock on wood, because I know that tomorrow might be the night where I crash and burn. I'm praying that I really don't, but so far, so good. I'm very, very grateful because it could have been worse. Today, I spent a lot of time reorganizing.
the bedroom reorganized and cleaning. You know, New Year, I want to do some spring cleaning and clean up the place and make it feel nice, fresh, and new like the New Year. So that's what I've done. Right now, I'm waiting for Mia's aunt to get here. So I'm making her bottle and I'm going to try and feed her before she comes because typically when I feed her, she eats more. Everybody else, she's distracted. So we're going to do that really quickly within the next like nine minutes and basically be ready to go. Hello, everyone. Tonight, we're having a potluck at work and as it seems like it is going to be the usual thing these days, I baked a banana bread that I'm taking with me. So I have it nicely saran wrapped in a little serving tray and it is basically ready to go so um yeah i do have a lot of time on my hands though because me and i did wake up early but also i don't feel like it made sense to go back to sleep at the time that we did wake up so i'm like all right i'm gonna just stay awake and like move around and do a few things in the apartment that i do have to do because right now it's 8 p.m and the nanny does not get here until 10 p.m. It's 8.30. Mia does not want to sit there and watch Miss Rachel anymore. She's over it. But um, basically, what I've been spending the time to do so far is I went in and recurled my hair because I had it curled for a couple of days and I had slept on the curls too. So I'm like, right, I need to go in and like redo them. So I did just that. And, um... And was basically cleaning up the kitchen from like the stuff that I used to make the banana bread. She definitely probably needs a bottle. But it's a little early to, um, to bathe her right now. But I still might just bathe her and that be it. I was in the kitchen for the last like 20 minutes looking for a pair of kitchen scissors that I have and I can't find it. I just went in there and was playing with her a little bit and I think I may have riled her up. And that's why right now she's crying because I did that and then I just left and like now I'm back in the living room. Okay, so she, she ate almost four hours ago so I am indeed going to make her a bottle. But now I'm thinking it probably makes sense to bathe her then if I'm going to do that because I don't want to feed her. And then she's ready to go to sleep and I didn't get the opportunity to bathe her. So I'm going to wash her off really quickly. Or tonight I probably don't even have to wash her off. I could just give her um, a little wipe down. Because I find that her skin gets so dry. So I'm going to give her a little wipe down. And then um, let me put these plantains in the fruit. I love plantains and I love when they're overripe. But I don't want them to get too soft. And this one looks like it's already getting there. So I'm going to just put them in the fridge to kind of slow that down. Or I could probably take this out so I can make it in the morning. But there's no guarantee. So we're going to just put them in the fridge. Today I tried a new baby food with Mia. And it was such a success. She really liked it. I'm, I've am i been using this one so far. The Parent Choice. I buy it on Walmart. And I love it. And I specifically like this one. Because it's a little bit thicker than another brand that I was using. When I opened the bag it's so runny. She started sucking it from the bag. It's all over the place. It was a bit much. But um... This one says it's organic blueberries, kale, and rice. Um, and she really, she really, really did enjoy this so much. I did buy some fruits to make her own uh, purees at home. And I have tried that. The other day I gave her apples and... No, the other day I gave her banana and pear. And she really seemed to like that. So I still have those. But the pears were a little bit hard at the time. And stuff like that. So, um, I still have those where I'm going to make her those, but today, because I was making an order from Walmart for delivery, I said, you know what, I might as well just get her some of these. And ironically, I specifically made the order because I needed flour to make the banana bread. I also need sugar and I'm now realizing that's so ridiculous how when you grocery shop, you realize that there's so many things that you still need. And I make a list. Anyways, this was just a quick little, I need the flour and if I'm going to buy this stuff, I might as well buy some more things. And I, the order, the man completed the order and there was no flour. I'm like, I was texting you on the app to tell you to buy some flour. But he was letting me know that the only flour that was in this store was bread flour. I don't know if I could have used that to make the banana bread. Hmm, banana bread. I don't really know. I never tried it before and I'm not going to try some new stuff to bring to work. Because I made the banana bread and brought it to some potluck before and everybody enjoyed it. And I want to keep 
the same consistency. Tonight is not the night where I wanted to try some new stuff. For the new food, so I'm gonna clean her up and get her ready for bed and stuff, and then I'm gonna make her a little bottle. Because it appears she needs something. This pajama that I'm wearing, I think I should have bought this one specifically in a medium because um, between my butt and everything else that I have going on for me, it does not stand a chance, literally. I feel kind of peckish, but I don't want to eat anything because right now it's basically 9 p.m. and I know that there's going to be a lot of food at work. And so far, the last time I ate and we did not have... And so when I went to work, I couldn't eat as much because I already ate at the house. And um, so I need to make sure that I'm actually hungry to go to work. I'm also going to change the bottle. My coworker gave us this cup for Christmas. And while it is so cute, it really does not keep my coffee warm. Like it's literally so cold so quickly and the cup spills. So, while it's so very cute and I love it so much because it's so tiny, I have to go back to this because this is functional, it gets the job done and it keeps the coffee warm and that's important. The one thing that I really did enjoy about this cup that she got us all is that it's so small in comparison to this. Like, I'm already taking less coffee, but I've never filled this blue one up with coffee yet. So, you know, I just need to be more intentional about that. But I love the cup. I guess it's another cup just added to the one million cups that I already have. I'm going to get the baby together and feed her. And then, I don't know when I will see you guys or maybe I'm closing out the vlog here if I am thank you guys so so much for watching yet another weekly vlog I hope you guys enjoy this one and I will see you guys in the next one okay bye